He chronicled how to turn adversity into success in his book, The Art of the Comeback. That was more than 20 years ago. A decade later, he dominated television with the Apprentice franchise. For the winning team, they're in a room as we're firing somebody on the losing team. So they're going to be watching it happen, and we've never done that before in The Apprentice. And I think it's going to be very exciting. That excitement followed Donald Trump into the White House, and so did the firings. Just over a year into his first term, there has been turnover in five cabinet positions from Secretary of Homeland Security to Secretary of State. And next month, National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster is set to serve his last day. Not only that, there's been an exodus of senior staff from Steve Bannon, who served as White House Chief Strategist, to Hope Hicks, the now former Director of Strategic Communications for the White House. According to a Washington Public Policy Institute, Trump has had a 48 percent turnover rate in less than two years in office. Compare that to Barack Obama, George W. Bush and Bill Clinton, who all had less turnover during their entire presidencies. The other issue, too, of positions that have simply gone unfilled. Uh, there's a variety of reasons. Sometimes these are people who are being blocked by the Senate and other positions that are just simply not being filled by Donald Trump that uh, a lot of people think should be filled for a full functioning of the government and all of its facets. I need a lot of hair and makeup, John, okay? But the quickest arrival and departure, I Anthony Scaramucci. He served as the president's communication director for less than a week. What do all these changes, this fluctuation, do to the administration's ability to implement its policy? Think about it in the context of any business. If the leadership in that business is changing over every few months, uh, just imagine how that business is going to be run. You're fired. While Trump may never let go of some of the techniques he fine-tuned in his early days as an author and reality show TV star, some of them still might have value, especially for those he's parted ways with. After all, many of them might still be working on the art of their own comebacks. Tatiana Anderson, TRT World, Washington.